Howdy folks, been working on my 59 Itzel here and I just took in uh, had new tires put on the original wheels. I got the uh, these old Crown Vic wheels off of it and just as I thought they are according to the back of this uh, cover here that goes on the center it's got a stamp of 98 on there 71798 read that right there July 17th 98 so these are off of probably a 98 model or a 97 uh, probably a Crown Vic but uh, they're nice wheels they're not bad not pitted or nothing. The tires ain't really worth nothing. They're junk, but the wheels are uh, pretty good, though. But I'm gonna get rid of them. They were on this car before, and uh, I had to get rid of them things because they, they just didn't go with it at all. And believe it or not, the car sits about the exact same height as when the wheels were on it, so that's pretty nice. But just bought these tires. I wanted to get the skinny white wall tires for it, but the more I thought about it, you know, I really wanted the, the real wide white wall tires, the actual real ones that are, you know, they're probably about two inches wide, you know, from the center of the wheel all the way to about out here. But I, they're just, they're way overpriced and they're almost, you know, you're talking about $2,000 almost by the time you buy them, have them put on and and then they have to sandblast these wheels and powder coat them and paint them and all that stuff and I just decided just to put these tires on here these are the tires I was actually going to put on my Chevelle originally and I'm still going to put them on there but uh, they're Cooper Cobras and they're 225 70 R14s but uh, these are the original 14 inch steel wheels that were on the car and I, I like these I think it looks a whole lot better and uh, I'm gonna probably take in, uh, I might find a set of dog dish hubcats and put on it, but I think they look pretty sharp. But the car sits about level now. And the other issue, too, with these wheels is the uh, studs and the lugs. I mean, they weren't even maybe two threads sticking out, so they were way too short with these wheels. So put these back on now, they're the right distance. See, now you got plenty of threads sticking out, so that's got all that corrected. And they, they're brand new tires. Now the place I took it to, I, you know, I mean, I like them. They do a good job, but they are. I paid way too much for these tires. I, cause I looked online and these tires are about four hundred dollars for four of them, and I ended up paying about five hundred and eighty, and uh, just to have for four new tires and to have them mounted and balances like five hundred and eighty bucks. I got ripped off on that, but oh well. It is what it is. I should have looked online and ordered them offline and took them somewhere else and have them mounted. I would have saved about 120 bucks, but that's all right. It is what it is. Done over with. But anyway, I like the way it looks though. Turned out really nice. Now I'm going to clean these wheels up and paint them. I wish I wouldn't have painted them before I put these tires on, but it's real cold now and. Uh, you know, it's no point in painting right now. It's just, it's not very good weather for that right now. But the wheels, I mean, they're not bad. They got a little surface rust. They're not perfect, but they'll be all right. But uh, I had to clean them up. But I love the way it sits now. I love them tires. They look nice on it. I really do. I was actually going to take and uh, port, put uh, torque thrust wheels on this car. I was actually thinking about going that route. But, uh, there's several different routes I was thinking about going. I was going to put the big white wall tires on it with the original full wheel covers that cover the whole wheel up. I was going to put them on there. And then I decided, well, I wasn't going to do that because the, the big white walls were, like I said, you know, they're a couple thousand dollars for a whole set of four. And, you know, I just don't have that kind of money. And I was going to go with the skinny white wall with the full wheel cover, but they would have looked all right, but I didn't like the tread. They look like a Chinese tire and I just didn't like the tread. So I ended up uh, picking these cause I like the tread a lot better. And I just like the way the uh, white letters are out. They really stand out. Kind of makes it look like a something from the sixties. You know, I think a lot of people from the sixties they took the wheel covers off and just drove them around without them. But it, I think it kind of looks good without them really personally. But uh, 
anyway I'm glad that that's done I got four new tires on it now and uh, I'm gonna get try and clean this chrome up stuff I wish they wouldn't have painted over it they took that old aluminum spray bomb and painted these bumpers and stuff and I'm gonna try and clean all that up I wish they would have just left it alone but I would have much rather left it alone so it would be original than to mess with it but that's all right but of course it's pretty good now so now I got all the new tires on it and uh, I'm so glad that when I bought this car that I got the original factory wheels and uh, they're going to give them back to me because them wheels right there they're not even the right thing and they just don't fit right I mean they look okay on there you know just for something just to get by on but I don't know why they just didn't take in uh, put new tires on I think what they did is they must have had a parts car or something like crown vic parts car and they just they were decent i mean they got a decent tread but you know they dry rot it i think they just threw them on just to put something on it because the tires that were on these 14s i mean they were just shot I mean, they were cracked around the sidewalls I, they, they were so bad i wouldn't even want to take down the road i'd be scared they'd blow out but i was kind of worried about the bead around these wheels because they sit a little while and i was worried about the tire sealing up good but i told the shop just taking uh when they put them on as much money as i paid for these things i told them to take some good soapy water and spray them down real good and uh do it on both sides and make sure they didn't leak or nothing and they said they did it they better did it i think they did you can see a little bit of soap on it there especially around my gt letters on there but, but as much money as i paid for that they better did it but our next step now is now that I got new tires on this car now I can actually take down the roads register now and I ain't got to worry about the tires blowing out or anything like that those tires over there I mean they they weren't bad but they're, they're junk and I'm gonna take them wheels and uh, get rid of them try and sell them get what I can get out of them just sell them cheap get rid of them the tires ain't really worth nothing but the wheels are nice and I got the centers I mean, the centers are perfect. The wheels really ain't bad at all. They'll clean up nice. But I, I just didn't want them on this car because they just don't go with it. They just don't fit it. This fits it much, much better. Now, I checked my uh, front suspension. The passenger side seems like it's pretty tight. But the driver's side, I was checking the uh, tie rods and the ball joint. It does need a lower ball joint for the driver's side. So I'm going to take in. Uh, I'm just going to order off four new ball joints and just put on it. But uh, it might take a little time, but I'm going to get everything straightened out on it. But uh, that's where we're at now. So next step now, we're going to get the brakes right on it, and I'm going to put all new hard lines on it. I'm going to take in, uh, I think I'm going to take it to my buddy's place get him to bend all new brake lines up for it and uh, i'm just going to go through it and replace every single one of them the master cylinder that's on this car is going to come off 